Hi, welcome back to the second episode of this series. I am your host Anand Sufya and this video will be about training effectiveness. It refers to the quality of the training provided and to measure whether the training met its goals and objectives. Using the approach that was developed by Don Kirkpatrick in the 1950s that offers a four-level approach to evaluate any course or training program. The four-level approach is number one, see how the participants react to the training. Number two, see what the participants learn from the training. Number three, did the trainees take what they learned and put it into practice on the job? And number four is determining the results. For the step to measure is firstly, by identifying what needs to measure. Of course, we need to identify the outcomes that we expected and also the goals of the training. Next, measure the participant reaction towards the training, measure what learning took place, and also the return on investment. The second step will be evaluating behavioral changes. You will need to evaluate the training participants in the workplace such as job impact. The strategies include workplace observations, peer observations, self-reflections, and pre- and post-training assessments. The last step is to analyze the data you collected and generate reports for relevant parties. This will depend on the size of your organization, your available time and budget, the number of participants, and the stakeholders' requirements. I hope, after sending your employees to training, you can use this method to measure how effective the training ran. Come back next week for another episode. For the step to measure is by identifying what needs Eh, for the step to measure ah, ah, Sorry, sorry Eh, betul lah ah. <laughs> But it sounded different Eh, for the step to measure